In Six Sigma, sometimes we want to compare a before and an after to see if it's statistically significant. So it might be uh, patients on a new medication before and after, does that change their cholesterol or whatever it might be. Or we could have multiple machines and we have a before and after in terms of how we change the settings on those machines or something like that. And we want to know if it's statistically significant and we can use the t-test, the paired two sample, for uh, to figure that out. And in the QI macros in Excel, here we have an example where we have some uh, patients, for example, and before they were on a diet they weighed so much, and then after the diet they weighed so much. And what we want to do is hypothesize that they actually lost 10 pounds each. So we're going to select that data, go over to the QI macros and NOVA tools. And down here you'll find paired to sample for means. So we're comparing a before and an after, that's why it's called paired. And it'll prompt for the level of significance. And here we're going to enter our hypothesized difference in means. So we think that they, are, they lost 10 pounds on this diet, so I'll put 10 in there. And it's going to go ahead and calculate all of this. And so then we get our p-values, compare that to our 0.05, and these are both greater than 0.05. So we're going to accept the null hypothesis that, yes, indeed, uh, all of our folks you know, lost 10 pounds on this diet. And so that essentially confirms that the diet is working. All right, so that's how you would use a paired two-sample t-test in Excel using the QI macros. And you can download a 30-day trial of the QI macros from qimacros.com.